I just wanted to do a, a look at a couple of things I've printed here over the past uh, week or two. Um, this resin, I don't really know um, good brand names of resin and like, so the problem I have with this resin is trying to get it to cure. Um, I don't know if, like I said, I, I think it might have been possibly not shaking it enough, or but I've been shaking the hell out of it every time I go to use it. But there always seems to be a place in the uh, print that I have a lot of trouble getting it to cure. So, oops. So, uh, the prints are coming out really well, but like I said, that's the only issue I seem to be having is the, uh, um, the curing of the resin. It hasn't proved to be a huge problem yet, but I think it might be a problem on this print. <clears throat> so anyways, get to the print. So you remember I printed the um, Stormtrooper skull a little while ago. This is the Boba Fett version of that. Zoom in a little bit here, show you detail on this, pretty amazing. These are supports here, I have to cut these out. These are supports you have to add in for printing. But you can see details really, really good. And you'll see here on the back, you see that area there where it's still shiny? I've, I've already primered this. Uh, but even uh, through the primer, the resin is coming through, and it's still a bit tacky there. And this being UV cured resin, I don't think, I don't know if it'll ever cure, just leaving it out. So I think uh, you might, I might be able to paint over that, but even with a dull coat, you'll have a shiny spot there, I think. Uh, so it's a bit unfortunate, but uh, that's that. But other than that... Came out really good, really, really good. And the other part to it, of course, is um, this is the uh, rangefinder again. You can see the detail on there. Again, this needs to be cleaned off. Those are just supports from the printing. But uh, yeah, you can see very, very detailed. And I did one other print, and this one came up pretty good as well, actually. Uh, this one does seem to have cured pretty good. Uh, let's see, back the camera out, sorry. So this is uh, Altair from um, Assassin's Creed. I have a bunch of Assassin's Creed uh, figures and stuff there to print. But this one seems to have, uh, I only just printed, well actually I put it in last night uh, and I just cleaned it up and cured it this morning. Uh, again, these are supports that have to be cut out. Uh, but you can see it's on like a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's on like a wooden, like a wooden base almost. All these supports seem to be cut out. So the resin that I have, I'm about... I'm about halfway through the bottle now. It's a 500 milliliter bottle. So you can do a lot of printing with that. I know it doesn't, 500 milliliters doesn't sound like a whole lot, but um, you can do a lot of printing with that. So I think I'll be, uh, once I get this one trimmed off and cleaned up, I'll probably start painting on this one as pretty soon actually um, yeah but anyways as I was saying about the resin the other thing I don't like about this resin is it's very very brittle when I cut these supports off it literally almost shatters like glass it's very very brittle so I think I'm going to try a different uh, a different uh, resin uh, the next one I buy so I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not when I cut. 
see it's a snap see that one shattered that time i don't know if the camera caught that or not see how it just shatters so and i don't know yet how this resin paints which is why i want to uh, paint this one pretty soon that boba fett head is for a friend of mine uh who'll end up painting it themselves i guess um so yeah, so anyways guys, that's uh, another couple of prints that I did. Pretty, uh, like I said, pretty happy with them. Um, I think the next one I'm going to try again is that uh, engine block that I tried when I first got it. Uh, actually, it's right here. I think I'm going to try this one again and see if I can get that to print properly or at least in a way that it can be used in a diorama. You can see there, like it collapsed about itself here. So... I'll give that one a try again pretty soon. Uh, so um, the only other thing, um, I put up a video yesterday of the uh, Meng Kawasaki Ninja, the one ninth scale. And there's something wrong with the file. It seemed to be working fine on YouTube for a little while. And then it I don't know, got some kind of a glitch or something. So. Anyways, I had to take that down, and indeed there is something wrong with the file itself, even on my computer. So I'm going to try and salvage that, and I'll repost that video, uh, just in case any of you guys didn't see it. <coughs> so, uh, but anyways guys, that's about it. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you stay tuned.